Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here at a castle that was once built by William the Conqueror to go and check out their light trail here at Warwick Castle and also do a little bit of skating in the grounds. Come with me. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. Oh, look at this. It's like they spell your name. I mean, it's pretty amazing to be skating with that behind you, right? Blimey, talk about flashing lights. There is a lot of music playing around, so I might have to mute it in parts. And when I say mute it, I'll put my own Christmas music over it. But um, we're going to start the light trail before we go ice skating. And uh, just coming into the entrance right now, we can see some places to get some hot chocolate. And also, look at these lovely little Christmas trees. How nice. I don't know if you can see the searchlights going on there. So, it's very quiet tonight. So, um... It should just be us. Well, not just us, but there won't be crowds of people in front of us, which is really annoying when you come to uh, something like this. But uh, here we go. Warwick Castle's Christmas Light Trail for 2021. Here you go, looking over. Warwick Castle, beautifully lit up. I think this is a photo opportunity. Maybe. This is a photo opportunity by any chance? <laughs> yeah, go on then. No, flash! Lovely, thank you very much. So there is going to be some flashing images throughout the light trail. So just bear that in mind if you are watching this evening. And um, yeah, here we go then. I have no idea what to expect because I've never been here before. Question is, um, I'm not quite sure where to where to go because it's dark. And the, uh, there's, a, there's a path down there, but I'm sure I must be heading in this direction. Wow, look at that, that's the conservatory. That is so festive. So I guess we'll go around this way. Okay, so we continue the light trail. There is like nobody here this evening. It's, it seems like it's just me. But um, ice skating is to come in just a little bit. I do like the lights though, they are pretty. Did he say, say go right or go left? I'm sure he said uh, go left, but look at that. So let's continue down here with the light trail. There's a big arrow, so you can't go wrong. Shame they've got no lights on the right hand side. <laughs> It'd make it a lot easier so I know where I'm going. Oh, it's dark down here. There's a whole load of trees with weird rope lights on them. I'm sure there used to be a sign here. Oh, hang on. Christmas at the castle. Oh, I see. It's a little photo opportunity. I don't know how well that's picking it up on camera, but to the uh, right hand side of me, you've got some, uh, some glitter balls. And look at that. There's a disco right on the grass. That is actually pretty spectacular, to be honest. Especially when they were yellow. Let's see what other colours they go. Oh, hang on, they've gone off. Wow. That is really good. Blimey, talk about flashing lights. They're everywhere. There's another set of disco balls over here too. 
So we're going through these uh, teepee tents that have all been lit up as well. And what looks like are the toadstools or umbrellas. Wow, look at this. You can sit in your own chairs like you would do at a castle, sat here on the throne. It's like um, it's like the round table at Warwick Castle. Okay, so this is a little bit random. These are uh, umbrellas with loads of LED lights. <laughs> Quite strange. The only little bit of criticism I have is where they should like put some lights down below so you can see where you're walking because right now I have no idea where I'm going. As you can see it's completely pitch black until I go to uh, the next light show. I can see some candy canes over to my left hand side just over there in the distance but we're coming up to some Christmas trees. So, ah, so we finally have some light on the path, which is quite good, so I know where I'm going. It's kind of strange that I haven't seen anybody else. I've come late in the evening. I'm sure most people are probably ice skating right now. Maybe that's a reason, but um, these candy canes are the kind of candy canes that you would see in people's garden that you buy from uh, B&Q. Merlin's magical wand. Ah, children's charity. Five pound donation. If I make a donation, something should happen. I hope so. So I'm gonna donate five pounds. Let's see if anything happens. Oh, hang on, something's going up the tree. Oh, to be honest, I thought that by donating five pounds that the tree would light up and it would be like, thank you. Um, but no, <laughs> nothing happened. But anyway, I donated some money to uh, Merlin's magical wand. I don't know if you can see that in the distance over the, uh, the lake there. There's like a, a house. So they had this last year and I believe they've extended it and added a few more bits. So I can't really compare to last year, to be honest, to see what it was like last year. Um, but um, there's still lots more to see. So there's an arrow. I don't know whether I go over here or if I don't actually. I'm a bit confused at this point. Going over the river right now. So it's very peaceful though and calm here. Calming. So this is a big light show lighting up the castle. Wow, looks amazing from here. Look at that.
I've booked the ice skating. We'll go and have some uh, some fun on the ice for a little bit. But uh, it's kind of, uh, I would say spooky walking around Warwick Castle at night. It would normally be really spooky, possibly being one of the most haunted castles, that's a word, in the UK. I mean, you can see that. There's a uh, couple of Christmas trees in the windows there. They look so Christmassy and festive. So this is a, a nice little light show that's on the castle as you uh, as you end the light trail. So I don't know what they've done to the ice, but they've made it really slippy. In fact, uh, right at the edge, it's like crusted really hard. And uh, in the middle, they've shined it up and it's, uh, it's really slippy. That's why everyone is sticking to the edge right now. And I'm sticking to the middle because it's a lot smoother. See these bits here where it goes really white, it's like really difficult to skate on. I mean, it's pretty amazing to be skating with that behind you, right? especially still trying to, I think I've done this now twice. <laughs> I haven't managed to fall over yet. I've got this down now to a T. It's so funny how everybody is just sticking to the edge and I'm the only one that's sticking to the middle. But um, yeah, this is definitely worth it. You can't beat ice skating on a real ice skating rink. So that was my tour of Warwick Castle, the light trial, and the ice skating rink. If you liked it, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. For the money, do I think it's worth it? Ice skating, definitely. The light trail, hmm, I'll let you be the judge. I'll see you next time.